Toledo Fashion's first couple, your artists, the designers, and your leaders in the Latino community. Tell us about the prize uh, that you came to receive in Miami, the collection you presented, and of your partnership throughout the years. Uh, well, there wouldn't be a, a, a Lifetime Achievement Award unless this partnership existed, <laughs> right? And it, uh, it, it really is love, you know? That, that's what makes it all work. Yeah. But uh, it's a big honor to receive a, a Lifetime Achievement Award from Fashion Group International, which was started by Eleanor Roosevelt, so that's pretty big pretty big uh, thing to live up to. No, we're very honored. It's, it's actually been a beautiful experience for us to come to Miami, in fact, because you feel like this is a crossroads of a lot of cultures, and it's an amazing time to come to Miami and be able to express my, to show my clothes, to show my work, and to have such an audience that was so appreciative, I loved it. It was really a beautiful experience. Now you guys have been together for decades, and Ruen, you execute what is in Isabel's mind. So how does that process work? Well, it's easy because she, uh, after he so... He feels me. Uh, uh, she, she, she's <laughs> describing her work in gestures and in motions, and really what I'm doing is not sketching, it's more like making Dictation. a blueprint. Right. I'm, I'm kind of taking a blueprint and a, a, of the engineering, of the architecture that's going to make the clothes. So it's kind of uh, trying to solidify the concept in a, in a linear way so we can communicate with other people. It's very interesting for me to work because I do really dress a feeling. I'm constantly feeling emotions and wanting to turn that into a three-dimensional object, a three-dimensional piece. And it's much easier if I'm working with my pattern makers to have him sketch it all down. And of course, at the same time, we're experiencing something else happening. And sometimes he draws something totally wrong, totally different, and I think, oh yeah, that's it. So it's, you know what? The contradictions yes. and the mistakes is what makes both of our work richer. We don't think alike. We don't, we're very, very different. So that's what makes the work, I think, more three-dimensional, yeah. more multifaceted, yeah. you know? And the interesting thing for me is that I find that I am of service. I'm not thinking, am I in fashion? Am I a designer? I am supposed to be in service of women and making women look and feel beautiful. So I think that's, that's the main thing that's inside of me. And I know that when a woman wears one of my pieces, it does, it does communicate, it makes her feel more confident, and that's important. Now, one of those women is Michelle Obama, we know. So tell us, you know, what did it feel like for a Latina with strong Cuban roots to have dressed the First Lady of the United States? What does that mean for, for Latinos everywhere? Well, she's not only the First Lady, she's a great lady. And I really feel that she's open, she's, she knew that she wanted to give me that opportunity. I mean, I make all my work in America, that's really important. And, I, I just, I'm just grateful that she chose to wear my piece and, and, and especially because she's a customer and she could have chosen absolutely anyone and she really felt, uh, I don't know, uh, she felt in touch with my work and as a Latina I feel, wow, in touch with our culture. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of diversity of, of, yeah. of thinking is pretty amazing, you know, and that was such a moment. It was, a, yeah. it was something outside of fashion, of course. It's, it's Isabel's woven into history. That's a big deal for us. Yeah. Well, you heard it in their own words. Ruben and Isabel Toledo, leaders in the Latino community, fashion's first couple. Thank you so much. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. This is Mariana Tencio for Univision News.